Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. Popcorn, pretty entertaining food to make. Top 10, probably. Oh, easily. Yeah. I reckon it is the most entertaining <laughs> food to make. How can it be better? Well, how about adding explosions with I'm this in. guy? Watch out. It's not loaded, is it? No, it's not loaded. It's flagged by a popcorn machine. You have to be pretty careful with these. This is a traditional Chinese popcorn maker. Um, you find them with street vendors in China. Essentially, it's like a pressure cooker, but for popcorn. Yeah, usually you'd blast popcorn into a bag. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, we'll blast some all over the quarry and see when it expands. Does it all happen in here? Or will you see popcorn coming out and inflating on the way out? Have you used one before? No. <laughs> I haven't actually, but it does look more lethal than a regular pressure cooker. Because one at home, you just push the buttons and it does its thing. And you're like, yeah, and then oh. you slowly vent it. You, yeah, don't, you or... don't vent it in 0.1 second. No, you don't vent it in point one. Like your food doesn't explode out of the pressure <laughs> cooker when you do it. Oh, <laughs> bolognese is ready. <laughs> Got our popcorn. I've just sort of been letting it soak a little bit, get a bit more extra moisture in there. What's it soaking in? Just water. Now, the instructions say half food is enough. <laughs> so, I assume that means half fillet. Okay. I've seen him chuck a couple of drops of oil in. I think it's for flavour. Okay. I, I don't think you'd want this flavour, but there we go, it's just vegetable oil. Gotta tighten this bad boy up. So now we should just be ready to start heating it, to be honest. And how do you know when it's ready? Well, there's a pressure gauge on here, and it says most food is cooked between eight and nine. If it goes above ten, then this pressure gauge release here on the front will uh, relieve the pressure, so not to worry. So as a safety mechanism, we're, we're in overpressure. Yeah, basically. So it says that'd be a pretty nasty frag grenade, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean this is pretty solid metal. I've got quite a lot of confidence in it, to be fair. Okay. Either way, I cannot advise trying this at home. We're at a thousand frames a second on the 4K. Ten thousand frames a second on the TE4040. We're starting to get some pressure raising there. Look, oh yeah. We're at one bar. One whole bar already. Yeah. That's pretty good. You basically just never have one hotspot. I can't actually hear what you're saying because uh, this is oh. really loud. I'm just chatting nothing. Hang on, I'll do a few reactions for you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting, yeah. Uh, no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough? I think we're cooked. Steaming. I can see it steaming a little bit. Say when you're ready. Oh, say when you're ready. Yep. Oh, what happened? <laughs> well, it went. It just went. <laughs> that was just like one, one pop for all your popcorn. Wow. It started to, uh, I think the pressure was still rising. Did you see the coming out the top? That must have been when it got to 10. Yeah, that blasted uh, the safety valve there. Yeah. Look at what it, it's weird shape, isn't it? Well, it's like hindered pop. Oh. It's like puffed corn. Puffed corn. It's like puffed it. Yeah. I wonder if you can make rice krispies in this. Just chuck rice in and make like rice <laughs> puffs. Yeah, I was a little bit worried because something came flying back. Then I realised it was just a handle. That I had. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a spread. That is, it, it's like a, like a sawn off. <laughs> it's like a sawn off with giant pellets in it. Who wants popcorn? Everyone? All right. <laughs> Boom. Oh, did it hit the camera? It did. I think we had, we had a few bats off the top of the camera. We made it. There's some range on it as well. <laughs> you just thought you could find a mortar. <laughs> Fire in the hole. <laughs> wow, look at the steam. God. That is an explosion. Look at the steam like trails coming off the popcorn. You can see why it went so far. Half of it went up. Got like It's gone in all different directions. Oh, it's Whoa. just the, so much of it all at once. Look what it did to the O-ring. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it just swung open so hard. It just got hit by so much stuff. It got like drug over the edge. Uh, yeah, drug? You, you, the tight shows you. I thought it would be still expanding on its way out. That's what I thought too. You almost need like a glass one. So it's just such a good illustration of pressure. And a sudden release of it too. Yeah. Is this the furthest piece? That's a pretty far piece. That is some distance. It's serious distance. I've known people to throw less distance than that. So it must expand literally the second air rushes in. It's expanding the, the moisture within the popcorn kernel rather than sort of heating it from the outside in. It's just the whole thing is just vaporizing on the inside basically it's like it's mental. causing the vapor to expand the entire thing Let's, i think we should do that again and we'll I'll get a wider shot
Three, two, one. Bang! Something flew towards me. Did it? Was that a piece of popcorn or something more sinister? It's got to be a piece of popcorn. Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> I love on this one, you can also see the pressure gauge. Oh yeah, no pressure at all. Got some absolute distance on it. Look at the amount of stuff that came out of that. It's like Mary Poppins' bag. <laughs> Look at all that. It's like Doctor Who's purse. Yeah, it's like a little TARDIS. Like Harry Potter's like tent or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the piece that came towards you? Right at me. Just one piece whizzed of by my head. You're right. You can be okay. If that went straight in my mouth, though, that would have been the quickest I've ever eaten fresh popcorn. <laughs> That'd be a new world record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a better bit? That unbelievable. Really? Way better than we did. Can before. I have a bit? Yeah. Just uh, this one looks like a good one. Oh well. Pop, pop that in. <laughs> on the floor. Oh. Oh. That's how, yeah, I told you. Isn't that better? It's like cereal. That's better. Wow. You just add sugar to that and you've got, you're, you're a billionaire. Do you have the Honey Monsters number? I do actually. Give but, him a bell. Well, he's a boomer, so he won't answer his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the same sort of amount of rice in. So this will either be a, a nice way to make Rice Krispies or it'll just be an, a nice rice shotgun. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and bang! <laughs> <laughs> you think we should fire it into a korma? <laughs> I'll have to go back to the shops and get a korma now. <laughs> Three, two, one. It did it! Are you serious? It did it! It's, it's Krispies? Look at that! Wow, it's, it's Rice Krispies, sort of. This is a culinary channel now. Yeah, crunchy, edible. What does it taste like? Mildly burnt Rice Krispies. Wow. But it's just slightly chewy. <laughs> that was a perfect one. Yeah. How do you think I'm performing as your left hand today? Uh, about as well as my left hand. <laughs> which is <clears throat> not my favorite hand. It's not puffing like a, a void inside. I feel like Rice Krispies are often hollow. Yeah, they're more hollow. This is kind of like, a, um, an even puff. Well, that's quite the transformation. It is. I was expecting less, and I don't know why, but I just thought that would be hot, fast rice. So did I. I thought it would be really quick, hot rice, but I'm actually impressed. Yeah. Out. It seems like it's it's like puking them out. It's like <laughs> it's absolutely boking out the rice. That's the biggest rice boke I've ever seen. <laughs> it was definitely speedier than the popcorn. Yeah. I feel like it was more like bokey than the popcorn. The popcorn was more gentle than that. Well, I think the popcorn, because of air resistance, is going to slow down almost immediately. Ah. But that that rice just went. Well, success, I think. Um, there's two idiots trying to puff stuff in a thing they've never used. That wasn't bad. We made some uh, two types of burnt food. <laughs> I liked burnt food one a lot better, I think. You think burnt food one I would eat better? a whole bag of the popcorn. You would? Yeah. I mean, it's very different to regular popcorn, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't realise there was another format for a maize kernel. Yeah, I was, I was impressed. I think if I was ranking them, I would do popcorn for flavour yeah. and rice for distance. For distance, is that an important category in food? For some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go popcorn. Okay. Uh, I think the rice needs a bit more development, but stay tuned. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video as much as Dan enjoyed his new style of popcorn. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo. And uh, I think I'll give you a week off from hitting the like button this time. Um, instead of doing that, just sort of relax and maybe watch nine or ten of our other videos. Yeah, make yourself a cup of tea, yeah. sit down, put your feet up, chill out. Here's one. Yeah. <laughs>